Welcome everyone, Farmer Comp here. This is going to be a new map tour of somewhere in Thuringia 3. This is by Caster, uh, DS Agrar Service. 255.75 megabytes to download. This is for PC and Mac players only, at least as of right now. So I'm going to start off by reading off what it says in the Mod Hub, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the map. So it says, and I'm probably pronouncing things wrong, I do apologize for that. Somewhere in Thuringia 3, welcome to the LLM Valley, original replica of the Thuringia, uh, Thuringian area in the LLM Valley around the small village Danstedt. Uh, real elevation model, available Google Maps data and buildings, streets, etc. Modeled from scratch according to the area. You can expect four farms plus one ground with chicken fattening. Uh, two farms of it with, with prepared BGP. I'm assuming that means BGA is what they meant. Uh, there's definitely some translation clunkiness here, I would describe it as. Uh, but 231 purchasable areas. 152 fields ranging from 0.7 to 32 hectares. Um, purchase points for manure, slurry, seed, fertilizer, and lime. Six productions such as quarry, mineral, fertilizer, seed, sawmill, carpentry, flour mill, bakery. Seven sales outlets, all production sites plus restaurant. Uh, complete real signage for orientation. Okay. Uh, <laughs> growth plan adapted to the area. No olives, cotton, or sugar cane. Uh, weather data of the region. So average German weather service. Um, adapted soil map for precision farming DLC. Full maze plus compatibility. Modified light model installed in the map. FS22 relight. Uh, start is on a beautiful farm of medium size in the heart of Dienstedt. Um, for full use of the farm, the appropriate farmland must be purchased. In multiplayer, this, sh this farm should always be farm one. Uh, all other farms can be used after acquiring the respective farmland. In multiplayer here, the other, the order after farm one does not matter. And then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here. Um, there we go. All buildings from the starting map, the contracting company farm and the horse farm can be sold separately, including decoration to build a completely owned farm. So you can sell the buildings, which is pretty cool. Um, the small on the slope pig farm cannot be completely demolished. Um, an important note, observe the necessary mods. Manure plates at the stables have to be placed by yourself, otherwise not recognized by the base game. Bale missions in multiplayer that go to one of the BGAs require a front loader and contracting company rights of the corresponding farm if it should be if it should not be owned. Uh, for questions and help, even error messages, visit us on Discord. Have fun and happy plowing. Best of luck, the DSA team made with love. So there you go. Uh, it has six required mods, which will download automatically if you download it from the in-game mod hub. Otherwise, you can download them separately if you download it from the website like I did. Uh, there's the Cowshed 3 plus 0, uh, which is by DMI 20mm Normandy. Then there is the Pigsty by Matthew FS. Then by Castar DS Agro Service, there's the Silo System Package, the Modular BGA, the Concrete Bunker Set U, and the Thuringian Farm Set. So those are all the required mods. So let's go ahead and take a look at this map here. We hop into the main menu here. This is the map for us. This is where we start off owning a new farmer mode, field 58, 154, and 84 for us. So this is kind of our starting farm area down here, which we'll take a look at, which is where we're at right now. So we'll take a look at that shortly. Now I will try to find all the farms. What I'll probably end up doing is just buying all the different chunks of land or buying all the land, and then we'll see kind of where the farm farms end up being um, on the map. I think that's probably a couple, a farm, at least one farm maybe up in this area, over here maybe. But uh, yeah, regardless of that, all of our cell points are kind of uh, condensed into this area here. So most of this map we'll probably take a look at in a flyover, um, just to be aware of that. So yeah, we'll do a quick run through here, uh, probably driving through the village area here, and then we'll probably do a flyover of the rest of the map to show everything off. Um, so we'll take a look at everything that's on here before we buy all the land first as well. Again, on here, um, you're going to be down a couple of crops, the ones that they said you couldn't grow on here, which is olives, oh gosh, sugar cane, and cotton. Those are the, the three crops you don't have available on this map. Um, on here, I'm just going to slowly scroll through this so you can see where you can sell different things if you'd like to sell various products. If you don't care about this, feel free to skip ahead um, down below using the YouTube slider bar. Otherwise, down below, if you care more about this, you can always slow the video down to be able to see a little bit easier which products are sold where as we go through. Or if you're worried about a specific product, you can, of course, pause the video when we hit that product. But regardless of that, we're going to go ahead and scroll through all this here just so you guys have an idea of where things are taken, which looks like most things are agricultural trade and different stuff like that. But there you go. And that's the end of that. This is all of our starting equipment. We'll take a look at in the store here in just a second. We start off with $100,000, no starting loan. We do have a cow barn starting out in new farmer mode, and there are missions or contracts in the field you do not own. Starting out in terms of production chains, we do have this guy right here, which is going to be the modular BGA setup. So you can see this is 
only, yeah. If you don't know how the mod, actually, I guess I should just specify this so I don't have to go through all this here. If you don't know how the modular BGA works, I do have a video out on that, which um, if I remember, I will put a card up on the screen um, for that modular BGA um, right here. So that way you guys can uh, go take a look at how to use that if you're curious. So, uh, but yeah, it's a little bit, It's it looks more complicated than it actually is, but um, it's a really cool system. So um, definitely worth watching anyways. And there are 28 collectibles on the map, map in terms of, or in addition to that. So that's what we have kind of going on for you guys here. That's, uh, let's go ahead and turn that off there. Perfect. Okay. So the store, let's take a look at our starting equipment here. We start off with a Fent Fabric 515C and a Styr 8150, as well as a Massey Ferguson MF3670. We have a Rossa Mesh Harvester. We also have a header for that harvester, and we have a header trailer for it down here. We have a Branther Z180512XXL PowerFlex trailer. We also have a small plow, small cultivator. Oops, I hit all the wrong buttons there. Small cultivator, a small disc harrow. We have a weeder here, a little Einbach weeder. We have a small mower. We also have a windrower, a baler, a, um, a feed mixer here, TMR mixer, a front loader attachment. We have a bale spike to go with that. And then we have a 10 Winkle FGB 600 weight. So there you go. That's all the different equipment and stuff we have sitting out here. People walking out here. This is kind of a kind of a nifty little farm setup, I will be honest. We've got this main door you can open here if you'd like to. Farm yard's pretty compact. Got all of our equipment through here. That looks nice. I like it. This is gonna be our cow barn right here. 60 cows if we'd like to have them. Stuff, of course, all opens up. We got some of our other equipment sitting under there, under the ledge. Opens up through here. Then over here, we have a bunker silo right here for us. This is just going to be a, your manure pit right here. This isn't a bunker silo or anything like that. Out over this way, we have our modular BGA in process in here, which is pretty cool. So we have that sitting right out there for us. And you can see all those different little pieces to it are all kind of uh, on top of each other. And we also have that little fuel tank over there but um past that open this up i think that's pretty much everything on the starting farm a big empty storage facility here and this heads back out towards looks like we got I like the kind of nice little window decoration it looks pretty cool actually how they have that set up it does kind of look like there's stuff going on inside and there's a room in there but uh yeah there you guys go, and there's probably, there may not be a sleep trigger. Maybe there is, maybe there's not. We'll walk around the house. There may not be. Don't really need one, though, to be fair. Yeah, I don't really see a sleep trigger on the map, so there's probably not one there. But there you guys go. That is the starting farm setup. So what I think we're going to do, yeah, I think we'll hop up to the store. And I think from there, what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, drive around the rest of the map. So if we hop up there, we have the repair trigger here, store triggers right here. We're just going to go ahead and purchase ourselves a truck to drive around. There we go. Okay. Hop in this guy. Fast forward our time a little bit to get us up to about noon here. There we go. Let's hope it's a little bit lighter out. All right. So we're just going to take a right to head into town here. So if you look at the map where we're at, we're up here. We're going to head in this way. We have the restaurant cell point. You can see immediately on the left-hand side here. There's a lot of stuff that's kind of packed on top. Um, so we'll try to point all of it out here. Restaurants will be right here, this building on the left. And if we head up this way, we'll take a left in here. And we head in this entrance right here. Right here, dead in front of us, we have the seed purchase and the fertilizer purchase. We also have the agricultural trade cell point and the wood chip cell point in here. So agricultural trade right here, and then the wood cell point right here, and then around the corner further, we have ourselves the lime purchase. So that's all compacted into this little facility right here, but that's all that stuff that's in there. We'll drive back out this way, and I think, yeah, we'll take a left, head up this way, take a look at these things, and then we'll head back down this road right here. And I think we'll drive down to where the mill's at, probably. And then I think we'll probably hit the rest of it with a flyover. Because it just kind of makes more sense with this uh, map here. So we go across the bridge here. The town looks fantastic. Really well detailed. Really like it. So right in here, 
we of course have the sawmill board sale and the wood purchase point. Now wood purchase point, I'm assuming that's just, yeah, they're just, you're gonna be able to sell your wood there. They're purchasing it. You can't buy wood here. Just something I think about with the new uh, platinum expansion coming out since you can buy wood products on that map, which is kind of cool. And are we gonna fit back here? I'm sure we can probably fit back here a little tight. But that didn't go well so far, but here we go. Perfect. Get us out of here. I was hoping there would be an entrance on that far side, but there was not. If we go down here just a little bit further. Right here on the left-hand side, we have ourselves the gas station. So there we go. That's what we have going on down here. This looks like one of the farms here actually on our right-hand side. So just because we happen to be right here, uh, I'm going to take a look at how much it is to purchase that. $3.4 million. Holy smokes. Let's give ourselves a lot of money here. Yeah, so if we go ahead and we purchase um, section 153 here, um, you can see we have our modular BGA set up over here. We have a silo for fertilizer, a silo LU, I'm not sure if that one holds, a silo for seed. Um, we have a large fuel tank, cow barn, two cow barns actually, and a liquid manure tank. And I'll just kind of give you guys a quick drive around of this farm here. So a lot of bunker silos over here. Big BGA set up. Storage through here. Silos, cow barns, all that good stuff. Pretty big farm setup, quite honestly. But there you guys go. There's that one there for you. We'll head out this way. And we'll head back over down. Oh, I'm going to hit that the van there real quick. Sorry, van. Just paying attention to the map. We're going to take a right on this road right here. This will take us down this way. And down this way, we have our starting farm, which is going to be right on our right-hand side coming up here. Left-hand side, though, where is that at? Let's go ahead and tag, or right-hand side for, yeah, right-hand side for us. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and tag that. So right there, that's our bakery point. And then left-hand side, just in there, you can see our, of course, now I can't see it, but just in there, you can see just over the buildings are starting farm, which we might as well actually just hop into flight mode. You can see this is our starting farm right over here. So a good setup there. Um, we obviously know one of the other farms is right there. So let's go ahead and purchase all of the land. There we go. All right. So purchase all the land. So let's see what other ones pop up. So this is a chicken area that they talked about, the chicken fattening area um, right back there, which is not really a farm, but it's, uh, it's on there for us. And then oh, I wasn't going to drive down to the grain mill. That's okay. Let's see what else we got. A few other things popped up on the map as well. Um, through here, it looks like I don't think anything else popped up through here. Yeah, I don't think other than the sawmill actually popped up now. Looks like. Yeah, sawmill points popped up there. But uh, yeah. So the other farms, they said there was a... Uh, it looked like four plus one. Yeah, four plus one chicken area. So farm up there maybe. Farm up there. And then the two farms over here in the chicken area. So there we go. We got it all figured out. Okay, so let's go take a look at the, this is the, this is the chicken area right down here, I believe. You're looking at it? No, no, it's back there, sorry, back further. Right over here. So sawmill, that's a sawmill right there, popped up for us. And then we have the chicken area right here, which is kind of cool to have that set up. Then over here, we have again that other farm that's up this way, which is really near some forestry land. If you want to do some forestry work, that'd be a good base of operation for you. Um, this is kind of cool over here. I like this. Just kind of like an old plot of land that's got some rubble and stuff on it that you can do whatever. It almost looks like I forgot to install like a required mod or something, but I made sure I had all six of them installed. You see the village, it looks really lovely from up above. We have all your different cell points and everything packed into here. And then from where we're at, we're going to fly, I think, up. I think we'll do up and then over, I think is what we'll do. So we'll head up this way just to get a good view of all the farmland that's out here. Plenty of space for you to expand on this map, that's for sure. It's probably why this is for PC only, because this is a, probably a 4X map would be my guess based on how big it is. And as we go out this way, 
up here at the top corner of the map, we have this setup up here, which I believe is yet yeah, one of our farms. We have a small fuel tank, horse pasture, and another horse pasture right down there for us. As we come down this way, we have ourselves the uh, little quarry area down here. I don't see any loose material sitting out and about, but I'm sure you can just use it as a buy point if you'd like to. Yeah, stone quarry sell point, lime factory there, and lime purchase point as well. Plenty of forestry on this map if you wanted to do it. Lots of really good detail, to be quite honest. I'll make sure I don't miss anything. A yeah, huge forestry area through here as well. Yeah, as we come down here, we'll head down to the very bottom where we have the animal dealer and the liquid manure purchase point. Then we'll head back up over to that pig farm. Yep, so animal dealer, liquid manure purchase point right over in here. If we head up this way, I believe it's just right over here. Yeah, is that where we're heading? Yeah, right up over this way. We have ourselves one of our other farms, which this farm has. A round silo for fodder, pigsty, silo loading point, a round silo one for seed, a round silo one for fertilizer, and then a small fuel tank. And then across the way of a seeds and fertilizer buy point, it looks like, as well as a seeds and fertilizer production point, which is just right over here. And where do we want to head? Yeah, we'll head straight down this way towards this liquid manure tank. So just take a look at that liquid manure tank down here. We start heading across the map this way. Plenty of open space for you. Lots of room on this map, that's for sure. This map is huge. A lot of stuff going on. Down here, here's the mill and the grain mill production point just down here. I like that. How it's kind of set up on that little centerpiece of the uh, the river there, a little island there, kind of in the middle of the river. And then, yeah, as we head back up, it takes us back into our starting farm and everything else. And that's pretty much everything, guys. Hopefully that gave you guys a good overview of this map. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.